Senior Henesis Miranda joined the Cyclones last year after transferring from University of Evansville, and her fun, positive attitude quickly rubbed off on the team. But she is so funny. Like, she makes jokes about everything, and plus with just even her accent, it just makes it even funnier. She's just such a fun person to be around. I love being around her. She definitely has a spark, I think, that just kind of vibrates off of her, and a lot of people can just be themselves around her, and she's just, I don't know, she's just a very happy person, and I think that it's great. I think, I think that I am really funny in the team. I think I make, I make people laugh all the time. We don't like bad situations. Because I think I care a lot about like people and my teammates. And I feel like if I can keep them like happy and together, we can make it far into like maybe the C16 or the Final Four. However, past the laughter, team goals, and big smile, in the last month, Miranda has had to endure something most student athletes never have a natural disaster back home in Puerto Rico. I think that happened uh, when, uh, what, it was a Wednesday. Um, the hurricane came at midnight, Puerto Rico, and uh, I was a little bit scared about it. And then um, I think the afternoon I talked with my mom and uh, she told me that everything was fine and I was like, okay. But then around at midnight, I saw some posts on Facebook about um, the town that I leave saying that people had to evacuate because like the, there's like water everywhere. So I was like, oh my God, and I was like calling my mom and I didn't have like communication at all. So I was just like on Facebook really scared. I saw this post of this guy and he was like, oh, look at this house, this house of, in this town and it was actually my house. I didn't even know the guy. Yeah, I was like, oh my God, like where is my family? And I didn't have communication at all. Like I couldn't even practice, I couldn't even done anything. I was like, how can I be like concentrating on volleyball and I don't even know where is my family? So that took me like two days and then I, um, some neighbors called me because there was like, there's no service at all there. So like a neighbor, a neighbor called me and uh, he was like, yeah, your family is all right. Um, some like people helped them to move out. They are in my sister's apartment. They're, they're safe, but the hail, they haven't received any help at all. Like, it's really sad because like, people are like fighting for food, fighting for water. Like, people are getting sick and all this stuff, but they're really sa they're safe. I mean, um, the coaches, my teammates helped me to send, send some boxes to my family. But um, yeah, it was a really hard situation for me. My teammates support me and really, I, I mean, I'm really blessed to be here in this program. The coaches were so like supportive with me, so I'm, I'm really glad that I'm part of this program too. There is no doubt the coaches and players are glad to have her in the program as well. Her fun personality and versatility as a player makes her a huge part of the Cyclone family. She can kind of do it all. She's a very good passer. Uh, she's a great attacker. She's a great blocker and she's a great server. And right now we're really using her serve. In fact, we're we have to use it. She's such a good point scorer. You know, when she goes into serve, we run points. She's such a good server. She drives the ball hard. It's hard to pass. And coming from a passer, it's it's very tough. She drives it hard and low and to the corners. And it's just, it's a great serve. She's also a great blocker. I think she's one of the best left side blockers we've had. And you look at her build and you think, you know, usually great blockers have such big physical bodies and she's just, she's smart, she's fast, so you think maybe you got her beat and she, she all of a sudden last second she shows up there and she just got a really good knack and blocking is a little bit instinctual, you know, sometimes people just naturally are better at it, she's, she's just really, really good at it. I think when I get a block, it makes me really excited. I think like the team is always like, hey, you, let's go, you got it, or like, or like I always feel like Joey's like, oh yeah, you like, come on, give me that block. So that gets me really, really excited. From hitting, serving, blocking, or just cracking a joke for the team, Hennessy's volleyball journey is something she is very proud of. I, it'd be amazing, uh, even though I'm like really away from home. Um, I still can't believe that I made it through because <laughs> it's really hard, it's really hard, especially for me. When I came to United States, I didn't learn English at all. I could understand a little bit, but so now I can talk more and I feel like really excited and proud of myself for being here. <laughs> and her future goals? You know what, I hope, I hope that I can play professional volleyball. That's one of my dreams. I don't know, maybe I can be like a better person and help more people. Being like in this situation from the hurricane, I never thought that I'd be in the situation. So I, I'm hoping to help people, yeah, and you know, 
to learn about life. <laughs> For Cyclones.tv, I'm Danny Orris.